third question you can try it's very easy only let us go for the fourth question fourth question the values of a and b if f is continuous at x is equal to 0 where f of x is the given so uh, the function x is greater than 0 and x is equal to 0 and it is clearly continuous at x is equal to 0 greater than 0 means it is 0 plus right and continuity should be equal to the given function at three that we have to do then we'll get the answer so here the fourth question is limit x tends to 0 plus f of x value we need to find this is equal to f of 0 the f of 0 clearly they given as 3 am i right 3 is given just find the right and continuity alone right and continuity alone so this value already f of 0 value 3 is given so now limit x tends to 0 plus what is the function value they given 1 plus yes friend write it separately 1 by x cube plus ax by x cube plus b x square by x cube all to the power of 1 by x all to the power of 1 by x now students if i substitute in place of x 0 what will happen here so if i write one more step or limit x tends to 0 plus 1 by x cube okay is there we are going to get 1 by x oh 1 by x square is not by x cube student i don't know how much you are concentrating if i write the any mistakes try to inform me right this is q square plus a by x sir b x sir yeah sir one is separate oh, sir oh right 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 one is separate see if you are not taking this one is separately okay one is not separately 1 by 0 infinity infinity to the power of infinity we are getting so again it is undefined infinity power infinity the limit should be a finite value so that here one is separately the subject will write get so we'll get like this all to the power of 1 by x actually there is a formula i don't know how many of you remember so the formula is a limit x tends to 0 1 plus ax on to the power of 1 by x should be equal to e to the power of a e to the power of a okay and also this is this formula also we can write in another way 1 plus a by x a by x on to the power of x in this case also there are two formulas are there but uh, given see so how can you change the given formula into standard form like this here a by x must be becomes zero am i right i want to change this is in standard form standard form to change the standard form here a by x should not be there like a by x you can make them to zero for that let if i take let a is equal to zero small a value zero then what about your limit limit x tends to 0 plus f of x value becomes a limit x tends to 0 remaining value 1 plus b x all to the power of 1 by x this is equal to what student this is equal to what shall i write e to the power of b according to the formula first one this formula limit x tends to 0 1 plus in place of a here we have b all to the power of 1 by x this is equal to e power a because you know if you want to find that take logarithmic on both side the procedure is that to find uh, this limit you can apply the log on both side so after simplifying again you are going to get e to the power of b means your x coefficient b that whatever the x coefficient is there that becomes power of e so e power b so this is right hand limit right hand limit is clearly e to the power of b and right hand limit we have to equating to 
3. So e to the power of b is equal to s twins e to the power of b b is equal to 3. Now apply log on both sides. Log e to the power of b is equal to log 3. Now b is equal to b log e. Now this is equal to b log e is equal to log 3. Then b log e value clearly 1. So b is equal to log 3. Understood? So b value is log 3 and uh, a value is what is a value here? 0. A value here we got it to 0 and uh, b value we got it log 3. So which one of the option is correct here? A value 0, b value is log 3. That's all. First option is correct. Simple question and uh, you can observe the question. Okay, A by X we got. So without A by X, there is a formula. Because you know A by X, no, if we substitute X value 0, A by 0, infinite. It should not become infinity. It should be becomes finite. So that A by X, you can make them to 0. When A by X becomes 0, when A is equal to 0. 0 by X is 0. That's all. Like that, okay? Now, uh, question number five. So what is the given question? Given function is, see here also clearly the given f is continuous at x is equal to 0. Then the value of f of 0. Okay, all of you uh, substitute in place of x 0 student. First, what is the f of x value they given? Log. Tell me, log 1 plus x plus x square plus log 1 minus x plus x square all divided by secant x minus cos x. This is a given function. If I substitute directly uh, in place of x 0, so we are going to get 0 by 0, right? So substitute 0 log 1 plus 0 plus 0. Log 1, log 1, 0. Log here minus or plus here. Again, log 1 is 0. So log 0, uh, log 1 is 0, 0 plus 0, numerator 0, denominator also. Okay, denominator also. What is secant 0? 1, cos 0, 1, 1 minus 1, 0. So 0 by 0, undefined. So we should apply the limit concept, uh, limit extends to 0. So f of 0 is given by limit f extends to 0 f of x. That is limit extends to 0. It is in the form of log a plus log b. What is the formula for log a plus log b? Yes. Log a plus log b. Formula. Log log ab so shall i write here 1 plus x square plus x into okay this uh how to write in small packet into 1 plus shall i write like this students 1 plus x square minus okay shall i write like this so log a, so this x alone I have written separately. Now secant x means 1 by cos x minus cos x. Now see student, it is in the form of, it is in the form of a plus b into a minus b. a plus b into a minus b. So limit extends to 0. We are log of. 1 plus x square the whole square minus x square all divided by take LCM is cos x so 1 minus cos square x take LCM cos x here 1 minus cos square x that is becomes sin square x so limit extends to 0 now a plus b the whole square formula you can apply so log of a plus b whole square so 1 plus x power 4 plus 2x square a square plus b square plus 2ab by See, this cos x becomes numerator, cos x divided by sin square x. Okay. 
now uh, see here this cos x value clearly cos x value clearly if i ask uh, uh, apply the limit separately here limit extends to zero log of 1 plus what is the remaining value student here 1 plus 2x square minus x square that is uh, x power 4 plus x square we got okay whole divided by sin square x is there before sin square x what i want to do so the since there is a formula what is the formula remember that uh, limit extends to zero log 1 plus x by x this is equal to what student log 1 plus x by x value when i substitute 0 directly 0 by 0 now this is actually one how it is one i, I can explain you apply ls model differentiate numerator 1 by 1 plus x by denominator x differentiate so now you can substitute in place of x0 we are going to get 1 so you can remember directly log 1 plus x by x value is 1 otherwise I derived here why it is equal to 1 differentiate numerator denominator with help of L hospital rule so anyhow this form is 1 sir can you start up a little bit sir yeah thank you sir right see here uh, then shall I write here I want to take uh, see x square plus x power 4 I want to multiply with x power 4 plus x square so x is power 4 plus x square then sine square x into cos x will be there into cos x finally student what about this value with the help of this formula it is in the form of log 1 plus x by x 1 plus x by x this is clearly a standard form am i right so this is clearly equal to 1 so this is 1 then remaining value is limit of x tends to 0 uh, x square you can take common x square plus 1 by sine square x sine square x into limit x tends to 0 you can apply limit for cos x finally cos x See student, what about this value? This value. What? Can I write separately? This is one clearly. Again, limit x tends to 0. Otherwise, you can write like this. Sin square x by x square into limit x tends to 0 x square plus 1. So finally, here into cos 0. I want to substitute limit here. Cos 0. So this value clearly it is again 1 into 0 square plus 1 into cos 0 value is 1. It is cos 0 value clearly, clearly 1. Right? It is 1. Finally, what is the answer student? This is equal to 1. 1 is the answer. Once again, what I have done here, I apply log A plus log B formula. That is log AB. Numerator I have written like uh, in the form of a plus b to a minus b that is a square minus b square denominator secant x i have written in 1 by cos x so i have taken lcm and cos x i take into numerator finally we got sin square x so remaining a square uh, minus b square after that i applied again a plus b the whole square i simplified finally we got like this so i, I changed it to standard form there is a standard form log 1 plus x by x is equal to 1 in place of x here, we are having x power 4 plus x square. So that I multiplied and dividing with x power 4 plus x square. Then uh, it will become one remaining value. I have taken x square common from the x power 4 x square. So remaining x square into x square plus 1. So again, I change it to standard form. It is standard form limit x tends to 0. Sin square x by x square is clearly 1. This is also can be written as sin x by x to the whole square limit x tends to 0 sin x by x always 1 so it is 1 and i replaced in place of x 0 and the cos 0 value is 1 so finally the answer is 1 so which of the option is correct first option is correct okay nothing difficult
but you have to think properly right and uh, see student uh, there is a formula that here before doing that i am going to tell you one formula sixth question limit extends to zero okay uh limit extends to zero like uh, sin of x minus x by x cube always equal to 1 okay this formula you should be remember here what is the formula i have written here yes friends remember this is very very important formula right so with the help of this formula only we are going to do the next question right let us start that question okay okay no no it is not a 1 by 6 here because you know we can apply the last rule why it is equal to 1 by 6 if you substitute directly what will happen to him what will happen 0 by 0 apply the last rule sin x becomes cos x cos x minus 1 by x cube is 3x square now substitute in place of x 0 again we are going to get 0 by 0 now again differentiate again differentiate here cos x is uh, again minus sin x minus 0 by 6x now uh, substitute in place of x 0 again 0 by 0 undefined sin 0 is 0 6 into 0 0 0 by 0 again differentiate so sin becomes minus cos x cos x by 6 6 into 1 So when I substitute 0 minus 1 by 6, okay, the property is minus 1 by 6. See, I derived the property here. Sometimes, if you are not uh, able to remember, just you can uh, apply the last rule. Finally, I got minus 1 by 6. It is not uh, 1. It is not plus 1 by 6. It is minus 1 by 6. Okay. So remember this property. So what is the property here? Limit extends to 0. Sin x minus x by x cube is equal to minus one by six. This is the derivative part. Okay, right. What is the question? Question is what? Okay, here the question is sin of cos x minus cos x. Of x value is sine of cos x minus cos x by pi minus two x the whole cube. See here, uh, take limit on both sides. Limit at where it is continuous to an extends to pi by two. See here, it is continuous and extends to pi by two. Particular value is there, so that you should take a limit extends to pi by two. A part x is equal to limit extends to pi by two alone. Pi by two alone. Okay. So this is equal to limit extends to pi by two. Now I want to make them this value into standard form. Sine of cos x minus cos x by. See here, in place of x, in place of x here. Cos x is there, okay. Numerator, but denominator we required x cube. X cube nothing but denominator. We required cos cube x. We don't have cos cube x. We we have just pi minus two x whole cube. I want to multiply and dividing with multiply and dividing with cos cube x by here pi minus two x the whole cube. I multiplied here dividing with cos cube x. See student, when you substitute x is equal to pi by two, is it zero or not? Cos 90 is what? See whether it is, is it satisfying the given property or not. Once again, is it satisfying the property? Anyone? Here limit is zero, but here limit is 
is it satisfy the property that is my question when i substitute x value 0 what about here sin 0 minus 0 when i substitute x is equal to 90 cos 90 is what 0 sin 0 0 by 0 0 by 0 we are going to get yes or no 0 by 0 only we are getting here so it's it satisfy the property shall i write this value is minus 1 by 6 yes we can write because it is in the form of given property sin x minus x by x cube. When I substitute x is equal to 0 here, it will be 0. When I substitute x is equal to pi by 2, this is also become 0. So that we can easily apply the property, this value becomes minus 1 by 6. Otherwise, you can do directly apply the elastic rule, but that simplification and all will take more time. Sin of cos x, cos of cos x into minus sin x. If, when you want to the next derivative, again you can apply the UV rule. Again, it will take a lo lot of time. If you remember the property, then directly will write minus one minus like that. Okay. Then cos cube. See, student, now limit extends to pi by two. Now, if I substitute again pi by two, we are going to get zero by zero again zero by zero. So now I want to simplify cos cube x by uh, pi minus two. So what I want to do is cos cube, I want to write as sin cube. Shall I write cos is 90 minus sin 90 minus x? Yes, we can write. Now I want to take 2 is common here, denominator. 2 is common. So 2 times of pi by 2 minus x the whole cube. x the whole cube. So this is minus 1 by 6. See, uh, here shall I write here... Uh, 2 cube, 2 cube is 8. So limit before that is 2 cube is there. See, student, 2 cube, 8. That 8 I want to take outside. That uh, limit, so limit extends to pi by 2. Or else x minus, even you can write this also, x minus pi by 2 tends to 0. Like that also you can write. Uh, then here whole cube, numerator cube is a denominator cube is a, shall I write here this value as sin of 90 minus x by 90 minus x, the whole cube. Sin cube by pi by 2 minus x whole cube. This 2 I am taking, 2 cube I am taking clearly outside 1 by 8. So what about this clearly? Again this is in the form of limit extends to 0 sin x by x. This is equal to 1. So this value completely 1, 1 cube. So here minus 1 by 6, 1 by 8, minus 1 by 48. Then what is k value? Here yeah, because it is continuous, you know, uh, we have to equate in both of these. Therefore, it is continuous. This is equal to clearly k. k value is minus 1 by 48. That's all. So what I have done, I change it to standard form. After that, I simplified. Cos cube, I written as sine of 90 minus x whole cube. Then after, uh, I have taken two common. That idea you should get because I want to change the sine also in standard form. Sin x by x is 1. Try to remember all standard forms. Then this continuity problem becomes very easy. If you're having idea about limit concept, continuity becomes easy. If you're having continuity concept, de derivative problems become somewhat easy. Okay, students, coming to the next question. I hope that you understood this question. Let us go for the next question. Uh, I think so. It is a logical question. Seventh one. Uh, can you tell me that? Uh, Function value. What is the function they given? F of x is equal to limit n tends to infinity log 2 plus x minus x power 2n into sin x all divided by 1 plus 
export to it. Okay, f of x is discontinuous at x is equal to one only, x is equal to minus one only, at x is equal to minus one comma one only, no point of discontinuity. There is no point, right? We have to check just discontinuity condition. See here, limit n tends to infinity is given n tends to infinity. When n tends to infinity, different conditions are there. Here, based on x1 and minus 1. Okay, I'm going to write the function value. Uh, I'm going to write different conditions. n tends to infinity means substitute here. n tends to infinity. Substitute here n tends to infinity log 2 plus x. Minus x square shall I write export to n as export to n as right to shall I write x square whole to the power of n? We can write x square infinity to sin x whole divided by 1 plus x square whole to the power of infinity. Anyhow, I have written I substituted in place of n infinity. Now, different conditions are there. This is function. Student, can anyone tell that here four, four to five different cases will be there? When x is lesser than one, lesser than minus one. x is lesser than minus 1, otherwise first I will do one thing. x is equal to minus 1, then I want to write x is equal to 1, x is lesser than 1, x is greater than 1. Okay, right student, even we can do directly also student, no need to write all the different cases. When I substitute x is equal to 1, what will happen here? x is equal to 1 and minus 1, first substitute minus 1. What about this value? Twins. Minus 1. Log 2 plus minus 1. Log 1. Log 1 value is 0. Am I right? Substitute in place of x first minus 1, here minus 1, here minus 1, in minus 1. So what is the resulting function? Log 2 minus 1 is log 1, log 1, 0. Minus 1 whole square plus 1. 1 to the power of infinity is 1 only. Uh, into sine 1. So Sine of minus 1 is what, student? In place of x, substitute minus 1. Sine of minus 1 is equal to minus sine 1. So minus into minus plus. Okay, sine 1. By denominator, 1 square. 1 square is 1. 1 power infinity is 1. Finally, 2. Sine 1 by 2 when x is equal to minus 1. Okay, clear. Then, x is equal to 1. Substitute 1 in place of x log 3 minus uh, 1 power infinity is 1 so minus sine 1 by 2 this is when when x lesser than 1 or lesser than minus 1 strains lesser than minus 1 Tell me, lesser than our modulus x is lesser than 1. Modulus x is greater than 1. What are the conditions here? We are getting here. Firstly. So here, lesser than minus 1. Lesser than minus 1, greater than 1 I want to take. Okay, lesser than minus 1 means substitute... Uh, uh, Lesser than minus 1 means what is the value you want to take? Is that defined strings? Lesser than 1 means its log function is defined? No, it is undefined value we are getting. So left hand limit of minus 1 is does not exist. Because if I take minus 3 here, log 2 minus 3 is minus 1, does not exist. Take minus 4, does not exist. Lesser than minus 1 means? 
okay even if we take a small value also the different values we are going to get at exactly minus 1 we are getting sin 1 by 2 but uh, it is lesser than uh, minus 1 means we are getting different values it should not become zero so left hand limit right hand limit should not be equal at minus 1 at exactly minus 1 we are getting sin 1 by 2 but you can take lesser than minus 1 like uh, minus 1.5 so here 2 minus 1.5 is 0 0.5. Log of 0 0.5 where some value is there. It should not equal to sine 1 by 2. So at minus 1, it is not continuous in the same way. At 1 also greater than 1. You can take greater than 1. So at exactly equal to 1, we got log 3 minus sine 1 by 2. But if it's greater than 1, greater than 1, we are getting again different values. 2 plus 1.5, you can take. So log of 3.5 of 3.5 by 1.5 all square c we are going to get infinity even greater than 1 what about the x power we have 1.5 i take 1.5 all for infinity is what infinity infinity by infinity undefined it is not possible right hand limit of 1 it is not possible left hand limit of minus 1 at minus 1 plus 1 so at that the limits are not coincide Okay, left hand limit of minus 1, right hand limit of plus 1 does not exist. So that, so that it is not continuous at 1 as well as minus 1. Right hand limit 1 plus or 1 minus should not be equal because substitute here 1 plus 1 minus all to the power of infinity is there. We are going to get different answers. Left hand limit should not equal to right hand limit. So both will be not good. That's all. That is enough. Okay. Next question number eight. Twins question number eight. I think so very easy. Uh, let's see here. Is continuous at x is equal to 2 and x is equal to 3. Okay. Is it uh, at, at particular value they given? Clearly x is equal to 2 and x is equal to 3. Is here 2. When x is equal to 2, is both will be equal? What about the both value amount when I substitute 2 here? Actually, 2 does not belong to here. What they given? The function is continuous, means uh, both values must be equal. For what value of x, it both will be equal 5 into 2, 10. Okay, 2 square plus 6, 10. 10 is equal to 10. Yeah, at it, x is equal to it is continuous. In the same way, substitute 3. 5 into 3, 5 into 3, 15. 3 square is 9, 9 plus 6 is 15. 15 is equal to 15. Yeah, at x is equal to 2x, x is equal to 3, it is clearly continuous. Otherwise, you know, if you are not getting any idea, uh, so you have to equating these two. Because when those will, both will be equal, then only we can say continuous, you know. Left hand continuity equal to right hand continuity like that. At 5x, you can equate into x square plus 6. So what are the x values we are going to get here? x square minus uh, so here, x square minus 5x plus 6 is equal to 0. Solve this quadratic equation, we will get x values. What are the x values we are going to get? 2 comma 3. Am I right? Solve this two. Yeah. It is continuous. Directly we can say it is continuous because at 2 and 3 both will be equal. Both will be equal. So first option is right. Next, coming to the continuous key in an interval. Yeah, ninth question. Uh, okay, greatest integer. See here, most of the question, which is uh, important here, also greatest integer. Okay, the questions which is belongs to greatest integer. Yeah, question number fifteen also belongs to greatest integer. This kind of questions are important. You can solve. All right. Now, uh, okay, two conditions are given lesser than greater than so that we have to find left hand continuity and right hand continuity. I want to find first left hand continuity. Limit extends to 0 minus f of x. Limit extends to 0 minus. What is the f of x they given when 0 minus case? Lesser than 0. A plus 3 cos x by x square. 
Okay, student, now I want to find this value. See, uh, we want to find, what is the question? Okay, we need to find A value and B value. Okay, to find A and B value, student, uh, your first step. Uh, the thing is, you have to write it separately, like, uh, uh, when I substitute uh, 0, for example, substitute uh, x value 0 here, what of the value we are getting here, when I substitute 0, yes, when I substitute 0, what is the value we are going to get? A plus 3. Am I right? We are going to get A plus 3 into cos 0. So A plus 3 by 0 we are getting. So something by 0 infinity. Something by 0 infinity. This kind of question I told you. It's, it, it, it must be very important. Okay. So when it will become like definite. So like a plus 3 must be also equal to 0. a plus 3 also when it is equal to 0. We are going to get 0 by 0. We can apply last rule. We are something, something we can. Like it's depending on the question. So when something by 0, it is undefined. We cannot find the continuity. Something by 0, infinity. Continuity having finite. So a plus 3 also must be 0. From that, a is equal to minus 3. We got one value, a is equal to minus 3. Students, okay, a is equal to minus 3, uh, first option as well as the second option. Like, let's find that b value. Okay, to find b value, so what I want to do, arrow. okay, so okay, a plus b, a plus 3, a plus 3 is equal to 0, that is a is equal to minus 3, we got, that is first case. Now, uh, what I want to do is, here, uh, I want to apply the, uh, like why don't we apply elastical rule here? Like three into cos x will be sine x by two x. Okay, students. Now I want to apply elastical rule. So limit extends to zero. Directly it is undefined. So zero by something will get so that a plus three equal to zero. Now I applied elastical. Capital A is a constant. Zero plus three times of cos x is minus sine x. Sorry, minus sine x. Right, so minus 3 by 2 is constant, so limit extends to 0, sin x by x, sin x by x is 1, so minus 3 by 2, this is LHC, left hand continuity, then I want to find right hand continuity, right hand continuity means B tan, okay, uh, right hand continuity is limit extends to 0 plus, what is the function they given student here? B tan tan pi by x plus 3. Anyone? B is a constant, take it outside. Limit extends to 0 plus tan pi by any one student. Your x value is what? x value is 0 plus. 0 plus. When I substitute here, 0 plus. Like, uh, substitute limit value here. 0 plus 3. 0 plus. In place of x, I substitute 0 plus 3. So, b times of tan of pi by. What about this value? Greatest integer of 0 plus plus 3 is equal to what? 3. 3. Like, pi by 3 we got. So b into pi by 3, what is pi by 3 value? Tan 16. Root 3. Root 3, right. So this is R to C. But in the given question, the given it is continuous at x is equal to 0 or not? Yes, clearly the given it is continuous at x is equal to 0. Now we have to equate LHC equal to R to C. What is LHC value we got? This is R to C b into root 3, LHC value we got as 
minus 3. We have to equating both. So uh, b root 3 is equal to minus 3 by 2. So b root 3 is equal to minus 3 by 2. Minus 3 by 2 can be written as minus root 3 minus root 3 by 2. Now when root 3 root 3 get cancelled, b is equal to minus root 3 by 2. This is b. Uh, then what is a? a value already we got it here. a is equal to minus 3. Okay, a is equal to minus 3, b is equal to minus root 3 by 2. So nothing but third option is correct.